Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we made our way to, well, the entrance of the Victory Road, and we fought Sharon for the last time, and got a send-off. We're friends, and here's the team. I don't even know what the hell I was, t I'm talking about right now, but that's what happened in the last episode. If you don't like what, if you don't like what I said, then you can leave. JK, don't leave. I don't get many views on my, actually, I do get a little bit of views on Pokemon videos. Please subscribe, I'm desperate. All right. Today, guys, we're going to go into one of the most intense, hyped-up areas of the game. The Gateway. Halt! Unqualified one shall not pass. The key to open this closed gate is the trio badge. Oh, hold of the trio badge. Challenge all that you face. And the further we go... Halt! The key to open this gate is the basic badge. A holder of the basic badge. Show the knowledge you've obtained. Yeah, basic knowledge. I'm going to do some grinding in here. Because that's where the odd nodes are located, too. Shit. Um, <laughs> well, this is going great. Um... You, you what, mate? Mate! You can't do this to me, I just freshly healed my team! Do I have to reset? I'm like, higher level than everyone here, oh my god. Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen, um... But yeah, the, the further we go into, um... The gate... Uh, halt! The key to open this gate is the insect badge! The more music that starts to play. Holder of the basic, uh, uh, holder of the insect badge. Fight valiantly like an insect. Uh, okay. Hold. The key to open this gate is the bolt badge. A holder of the bolt badge. Unfural a shocking battle. I shall. Gates are placed at the border of one space and another space. In other words, the gates mean that the world beyond here is a different world. It feels like every time it does feel like every time you pa you pass through a gate, you're going to a different world. And you remember the gym leader who gave you the badge at the same time, but without the quake badge, you cannot proceed. You made it this far without getting the quake badge, bruh. Well, the quake badge make your foes' hearts tremble. And the jet badge. Well, the jet bash, but bash, bash, blast ahead with tremendous force. And this is really fucking cool. The wind is that strong; it can hold you up. The freeze badge. Show the sharp edge of an icicle into my into the heart of my foes. The Legend Badge. Holder of the Legend Badge. Pass through Victory Row, which lies beyond here, and head for the League. Prove that you too can be a legend. And here we go. Okay, I already got one of those on. I, I honestly don't know if I can get through this in one episode, but I'm going to go ahead and give it give it a try. Now that strength is a little shortcut. If you need to like heal and you get to that point, you can just climb back up through there and then it's basically you're basically set from there. And everything is all 45. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, this unwarned some very tedious issues. Should I just like secretly grind it for like a hot minute? No, nah, that's what uh that's what after this is gonna be. Me uh grind like a mofo. Honestly, this this Victory Road is literally my favorite Victory Road themes in all of Pokemon. Just like, when you go through the gates, just like the heightness. Like, hearing, 
hearing different instruments and music being played as you keep going through, and then finally when you make it to the end, it just like plays and just like hits you. And then also I heard a a, a remake by a remix of this by a YouTuber, which was pretty fucking dope. Um. Well, regardless. Ah, uh, he's doing the stomp on my ass. But I bulldozed. When do you learn fucking Earthquake, dude? Yeah, there is always someone better. Except for the protagonist. Also, I bought some hyper... Uh, some super... from Some full restores, uh, just then. And some other supplies. Just to give me a bit of a boost. Oh. Listen, you can slide down the cliffs here. Watch me. Now you try it. Ah, that's a long way down. I can't do it. What a pussy. Yeah, in the victory row, you can do that. That means there's a ton of items that you can get. Um, by sliding down, but you gotta be careful. There's at least one part near the end of Victory Road, um, where if you, like, miss a jump, you slide all the way back to the start. And you want to get to the Pokemon Center in the Victory Road before you do anything like that. I got a normal gem. I don't even have any normal types on my team. Now we can go through there, or we can go up, sta up the stairs. Also, this is the place where Terrakion dwells. I know, I... I, I said I'm not going to do legendaries in this Let's Play, because I want to get the Let's Play done and over with, because there's, like, a good bit of post-game content. Not really a whole lot, but there's, like, kind of a bit of post-game to do. But... I'm only going to do, like... I guess kind of like the bare minimum, really, because I want to just move on to a new series. I'm sorry. I only 100%ed one game, and that was, uh... I only 100%ed a Zelda game on this channel, and I did, like, everything. Maybe except for, like, a couple things, but but I, I will still say I did, pr I did like, 100% of it. Oh, god damn it. Stop killing my Poseidon, you piece of crap. Uh, so it's Sunday at the correct time, 11.37. I'm currently sitting on my couch, home alone once again. Uh, yesterday I played Call of Duty with my brother. I think I said this in the last episode. You know what? I'm pretty sure I'm going to annoy you guys if I just keep bitching about my PC, so... I'm not going to talk about my PC. Proceed to talk about PC in general. But no, I, 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 I've been, I've been talking about this for like a couple, like, probably like the last three episodes now, and I just need to stop. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, this Scolicipede that is, or Scoliped that's getting completely destroyed by Psychic, a uh, steamroller. That did so much damage. All right. Um, also, I need to bulk record a few episodes for the for next weekend because, as I said in the last few episodes, I'm going to be um, gone for that weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'll just be MIA for a hot minute for a few minutes. You know, one thing that I noticed when I started playing, like, Gen 5 for the first time, and, like, this was, like, during the point where I actually gave a damn about my, about leveling up my team, because, like, before, all I did was just do a, um, a solo run, but then, like, I think it was, like, during when my brother was playing through, um, Platinum, and I saw that he was, like, leveling up other Pokemon, I'm like, hey, I want to do that, because, like, I never did that, because, like, the Pokemon I caught were weak. And it would take a long time to grind, and then I just didn't do that. And that's why when I was a kid, all my Pokemon playthroughs were just basically solo runs.
But then, like, I start doing it in Platinum. And then I start doing it in Generation 5. Which I guess Generation 5 was, like, the first time I've... Well, I guess Soul Silver. When I, when, when I played through Soul Silver was, like, the first time I actually played through a game and, like, cared about, like, building up my team. But then, like... The last, the last gym leader, Claire, was a pain in the ass, so then I just, like, caved in and, uh, traded over a Palkia that just, like, carried my team all the way through the end game. I'm not like that anymore. I carefully grab my team. But, like, in this generation, I always notice that, like, the, uh, level differences between, like, um, an, an opponent, a boss opponent's, um, main team, like, well... Ace Pokemon and their other Pokemon, or at least, like, two. So I, like, delve into that, uh, concept where I had, like, all my Pokemon, like, two levels lower than m the remaining of my team. And also, I was going to the league with only four Pokemon because that's what my rivals did. And they always, and I knew, and, like, the team I had was, like, um, actually, I don't even know what team I had. I had a... My starter, which was an Oshawott, Samurott, Semi Sage, a Sock, and then there was a fourth one, I which I don't even know what I had to this day. Like it was probably like some sort of flying Pokemon, to be honest. Probably on Pheasant. And also, I basically just started nicknaming my team when, uh, when I basically just started, uh, Let's Playing for the first time. I never did do, uh, nicknames. And I kind of, like, and, like, five years ago when I first made my first Pokemon Let's Play, I did nicknames, and, well, here we are. I'm not that good at nicknaming. I even nickname on, I nickname, uh, my Pokemon on, like, my... Other consoles, like, other games, like, other Pokemon games I play through, like, like, well, can't say X and Y now because I haven't played that in a while. And here we go, shortcut number one. But, uh, when I played through, um, Alola and Sword and Shield, and then I played through, uh, Let's Go, I nicknamed my entire team. I feel like one of these days, like, I want to make a, like, like, a mystery dungeon, uh, ROM hack, but, like, the only thing I'm going to change is everyone's names, because, to, like, make it, like, have, like, a human name or something, because, because, like, everyone's just named after their Pokemon name, they, and, like, the only people that have different names are you and your partner, and I kind of want to change that, because that kind of, uh, bugs me in a way. But, I don't know. Like, like, they're named after their species names. They don't have, like, a specific name. That gets really annoying. Like, what if, like, what if, like, in, in, like let's say my situation, because I have a twin brother. Let's say we both were, like, like, Bulbasaurs. And we were both just called Bulbasaur. That, that would get really annoying quick. Or, what, or, or in that situation, would we just have, like, nicknamed... Like, will we just be, like, given nicknames or something? Like, like that stuff, like, like gives me, like, like, I don't even know. I'm just, like, curious about it. Like, why didn't Game Freak do... Game Freak, if you're listening to this, which you probably aren't, please, for the love of God, next next mainline uh, Mystery Dungeon game you make, have Pokemon, give Pokemon their names. Like, like, uh, like, give, give someone, give Pokemon a name, like... A human name, not like their their species names. It it kind of like, I don't know, like the Kecleon Bros. I mean, like one of them's shiny, but like, still. What if you're like gossiping and like about like a random Bulbasaur, and then like a wandering Bulbasaur just like came in and was just like, wait, they talking shit about me? And they're like, oh, not you, Bulbasaur. This other Bulbasaur. Why you want to learn Drain Punch? I mean, that might be good, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Ugh. Conversations. Ugh. I don't know, but then, like, there's, like, a reason, like... Because, like, po with a Pokemon in, uh, the... 
the real world or whatever, they they say their names. That's the only thing they can say, which is actually I find very interesting. They can't speak English, but like they can say their name, which is like one word out of the English, which is like one English word. Hold on, I'm taking a sip of my tea. Like, like, Pikachu. Pikachu can only say Pikachu. Meow somehow learned English. Which is, I will say, that is, that is a very, very cool thing that a Pokemon learned English. But, like, like, you send out a Pokemon, they will just say their name, and that's it, and then just, like, go about their day, but, like, they're still speaking some form of English. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this conversation? What is this? What is this come to? What is this conver- What is this commentary just like come to? Why'd you- Flappy, you suck! Shit. Well, that ain't good. Um, okay. Ugh. My team is good, but they're low leveled, and I despise it. Ooh, Kronkelder, shit. Okay, I'm gonna heal up because I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I have four max revives. Thanks, Bianca. I don't even think I used a single max revive in this Let's Play yet. God damn it. Okay, um, go Flappy Bird. Go Flappy Vag! Versus, um... I'm actually glad that Tyler's making more verses on the Versus channel. But they're, like, different. I kind of, like, well... I'm glad that he's making new content of the versus channel god damn it but like a part of me is just like so is he like going to do versus series anymore but i mean like i still watch it because like it is entertaining but you know versus series not just like one-offs every like saturday maybe he'll come back to it i don't know maybe i'm just complaining So I have no idea what level this man evolves, and I can go ch I can go check after this episode or something, I don't know. Vert is amazing, like she's a fucking beast. I think it's like level 48, maybe 50. If it started evolving right now, I would shit my bricks. Um, I also have one rare candy. I will say, uh, the I'm pretty sure you all know this, but when I first did my, uh, Fire Red Let's Play, I used Rare Candy Cheats, because I couldn't be bothered to grind. And, Pokemon Glaze, I actually used Rare Candies at the very end, because everyone was, like, level 99, and I was, like, still in my 70s, and I'm like, okay, I'll just do some grinding. Pre pretends to grind. But, hey, I, I, I EV trained. Like, I actually did grinding, because I wasn't... I didn't think you would come this quick, man. Damn it. Okay. But yeah, I, I suck. Now I don't use rare candies. Because, like, they don't give off EVs and, like... Honestly, I can just... I can just grind with speed up now. And, like, basically, that's what I did for my Nuzlocke. Except for, like... Like, oh my lord, I've I've grinded so much in my Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke, it's like ridiculous. Like, I amassed like 30 hours, probably by the time we made it to the 4th gym, and 90% and of it was just me grinding my team. Like, Jesus Christ. And then eventually I just, I, and here's the thing, I wasn't even using, like, experience codes. Then, 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 after, like, 
after like halfway through the game, I was like, okay, I need to use codes or I'm going to go batshit crazy. Because like there was like, I think it was like one part of the Nuzlocke where I nearly got my, I nearly got like my team entirely wiped by a, by a double train, double ace trainer battle. And oh my god, I only had one survivor against two Pokemon, and I managed to win. I was just like, in complete focus mode during that time. I was like, oh shit, 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 shit. And then after that, I'm like, fuck this goddamn game, holy fuck. Because like, I legit just lost ha like all my team. Team that I've like, previously grinded. And... And like every episode in my running a platinum nuzlocke, I lost a party member. At least one party member per episode. Possibly two or three, and that like that that that, that changes a dude when they're doing a nuzlocke. Like when you're when you're losing mons left, right, and center, I think I can go down here and like grab an item. There we go. But then that means we gotta, like, run all the way back to, uh, yep. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna keep going. I'm actually gonna make it to the end in this one episode. I don't care how long it takes. We could be going for, like, 40 minutes. We can go for, like, another two minutes. We are going until it ends. We're going until we make it to the victory, to the end game, boys. I promise you this, lads. Okay, we basically got back to where we left off. Um, so let's keep moving. Oh, thanks. I that I didn't even like. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely near the end. Well, we get we get that boulder push and everything to be fine and dandy. What's the answer? David? Oh, Darmanitan. It's a Pokemon I haven't... I don't think we actually have ever seen a Darmanitan before, but... In this Let's Play, yeah, but here here comes one. Look at this man. I actually had one on my team uh, years ago. Probably like six... No, probably like... Almost nine years ago now. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got Seismitoad in this biatch. Okay, go Lily. <laughs> yeah, once we, uh, once I end up this episode, I'm gonna go into full grinding session, and my team is just gonna get, like, a level jump. Like, crazy. I mean, like, I know I won't need it, but trust me, um, I have reasons to be grinding my team up to a good, consistent level. And there we go. All right, let's move forward. Yeah, we're, I think we're actually near the end. Okay, I picked the right one. Oh, did I? No, I picked the wrong one? I do like the fact that uh, when you go do the victory, when you come, bleh, when you come across the victory road in, in a uh, black and white two, it's like completely changed and it's really cool. Still the same victory road, but like there's like added on shit. Yeah, I actually think we're near the end. Holy crap. Like like what I said, it's it's like uh, it's like I think that things are long, like Twist Mountain, the Victory Roads when I'm a kid cuz I 
think I take too long or like I find it too hard and it just like takes me five years. Like I remember like the victory roads, I would be at this for like days, not even getting through, like be at it for literal days and not even be done. And I'm about to get destroyed. This is not a good idea because we're fighting a Gigalith, which is a rock Pokemon. And God damn it. Jesus, hell. Okay. And you can see my Pokemon just got destroyed. I need Waterfall, but I don't get Waterfall until I beat post game. Well, until we get to the post game, I mean. Until we beat the game. That is. Hell yeah. Up next is the Pokemon with literally no weaknesses, Electros. I don't even know where I can find one of these two. Actually, maybe in Charge Stone Cave I could have found one. That would have been a good Pokemon to have. This thing has Dragon Claw. It's electric type, but like, it, you can't even hit it because it's Levitate. So there's like nothing else you can do except for just like, attempting to beat it with just brute forcing it. Oh, there we go. It'd be wise to actually just go down to uh, the doctor, but I think we're basically at its end, so. Oh, yeah, we're at the end. We're at the end. 26 minutes. It took for us to get to the the league from the gate. And here we go. The league. Oh, holy hell. All right. Um well, that didn't take too long. I thought I would actually I was actually have tempted on like ending last episode, but then like I guess I would have to fill in the other bit of like things to do. So, yeah, we're at the Victory Road, and there's not even a soul up here. Except for, like, these two guys that are just chilling here. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black version. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and face off against each member of the Elite Four. And hopefully, that'll take about, like, one episode. Maybe two at that. And then, uh... We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.